Welcome back. I'm going to make a real quick video that you probably should pay attention to if you've got a snowmobile, especially an older one. So I've got my 2000 MXZ 440X chassis that's got a 500 in it. And I'm just going to go over a couple of things that will burn your sled to the ground. So one of the first ones here, and this one is something that people probably really don't think about. Ooh, just about hurt the car. Okay, right down in here, this is your brake caliper and your brake rotor. Now what happens is this master cylinder gets all gunked up with crap over the years and doesn't let that brake caliper fully release. And then as that happens, you start running down the trail. If you don't notice it, you'll actually catch fire. I did this last year with my Formula 3, and this one would have done it had I not cleaned the master cylinder all out. So, so on the Formula 3, what happened is it got hot and I could smell it. So when I was smelling it, I stopped. And when I stopped, there was just a little flame coming off the brake pads. If you get brake pads hot enough, they will actually catch fire. Now, I don't know if it's necessarily the brake pad itself or the fact that it was right next to the oil reservoir and maybe people drip, dripped oil on it over the years, but whatever it is, the, they will catch on fire from this brake rotor. Most of them have an oil reservoir right over top of the brake rotor. So this one, because it's got the premix, it doesn't have the oil reservoir here, but look at this, this is your gas tank. You're about to have a real bad day if that thing catches fire. Now these little guys, so probably not particularly this one. This is your gas line. That's your feed from the tank. Now another thing that's not necessarily a fire issue, but back inside of here is a pickup tube and a filter. Uh, once they get this old, like 15, 20 years old, you need to check those and make sure that the pickup tube and the filter are still in one piece and in good shape. But you've got these lines, and you probably can't really see it, but down in there is your fuel pump. This blue line is a line I've already replaced. That's a brand new line. You need to go through and change these lines off the fuel pump. When you get a sled that's 20 years old, that's one of those things you just need to do, is you need to check those lines. Um, I'm not talking about blowing up an engine. I'm talking about an actual, like, inferno. And if you've ever seen a sled that's burned, there's not much left. The aluminum melts, the plastic all burns, the seat burns. You're left with like a steering stem and an exhaust pipe. That's about it. Um, just a big, you just have a big puddle of meltedness in the snow. That's it for this one. Just a real short, don't wreck your winter by burning your sled down the first time out. Take care of those issues. So hit the like and subscribe button. Those really help me out. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.